show starts in five minutes. We're happy to have you with us this evening and want you to enjoy every minute of your stay here. And while you relax and stretch, visit our concession where you'll find something to please you. There are ice cold drinks, delicious sandwiches, ice cream, coffee and snacks, and many other pleasing treats. Our foods are fresh and tasty, our drinks satisfying and refreshing. They're so good. You get more out of life when you go out to a movie. Show starts in four minutes. To visit our snack bar and treat yourself to some delicious Castleberry's pit cooked barbecue sandwiches. Cook the Castleberry way slowly over open pits of glowing charcoal, then seasoned with a sauce that's zesty, yet delightfully mild to please the entire family. Also at the snack bar, you'll find popcorn and soft drinks and candy and french fries to go with your Castleberry's barbecue sandwiches. There's plenty of time before the movie starts, so visit our snack bar right now for Castleberry's pit-cooked barbecue sandwiches. Still plenty of time to come and be served at the refreshment center before showtime. Show starts in three minutes. Show starts in two minutes. Your attention, please. All new hotshot electric in-car heaters have been installed for your comfort and convenience. Just insert heater through car window and turn on the switch. When leaving, please turn switch off and replace on speaker post. Warning, high voltage. For your own safety, do not attempt to repair or remove wires. Do not attempt to open heater unit. If you need assistance, please notify the theater box office or concession manager. in one minute. Please remember to replace the speaker on the post when you leave the theater. the show. Oh, shit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome on into the Fuzz Factory. It is currently April 4th, 2022. Uh, it's Monday, I believe, if I got my days right. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic start to your week. Shabam. How's it going, everybody? Uh, today, we got a pretty special uh, show in store, I think. Uh, but I'll do a little bit of housekeeping here. Uh, nothing stream related wise. Nothing stream related wise because I got nothing going on in stream. Uh, emote and stuff wise that is. Um, but uh, I had an exam today, so that went really well. Also, I forgot to say hi to everybody. We got Turtle. We got a Ragni. We got Kelly. We got Jess. We got Mass Ranger. 
Uh, we got life. How are you guys all doing tonight? I can't believe I did. I didn't say hi. What what a what a rookie streamer mistake. Uh, but yeah, so I had an exam today. Did really well. Passed that. So that's good. Um, but uh, uh, today we're doing two things. Playing a new game. So I was actually going to play a different game, but it's not available yet. It was called Are You Smarter Than the Crowd, which I don't really know anything about it. I thought it was kind of like Are You Smarter Than the Fifth Grader, but with Twitch integration. But that is currently fortunately is not out right now. So what uh, we're doing instead is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, which I found uh, on PS2, and I'm amazed we haven't played this yet. So this might be a total dumpster fire. I don't know anything about it. Uh, and then, and then. At 9.30 my time, which is going to be 8.30 um, Pacific, or uh, I guess it would be 10.30 uh, Central, I am going to be doing this, courtesy of Ms. Jessica, right here, the One Chip Challenge. So we hit uh, uh, some sub goals yesterday, or uh, last time I streamed, which was on, uh, on Wednesday, and y'all dropped a bunch of money, so I said I'd do this. So this is the One Chip Challenge, Carolina Reaper, and Scorpion Pepper. So it might be an absolute uh, piece of shit. Yo, uh, life, how's it going? Or uh, retro, sorry, how's it going? And regular guy, good seeing you. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Uh, but yeah, that's this. So we're going to do that in like an hour and a half. Uh, but other than that shit, I got nothing. We're doing a brand new game. So uh, without further ado, we got a wheel spin because a raggedy came in and gifted a sub to my boy, Mass Ranger. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, grab a beverage. Let's jump right into this bitch. Raggedy, come on down. You're the next contestant on Fuzz's Chance Time. Not long enough, dude. I'm so nervous. I'm actually so scared. But well, welcome, everybody, to Fuzz's Chance Time, your one-stop shop to win fabulous prizes. For every sub, resub, gifted sub, or 10,000 Fuzz coins, you, too, can press your luck and spin the wheel. Such prizes include VIP, Jelly Bean Redeems, and much, much more. Let's see what he wins, Bob. All right, Agni. I just want to say that I appreciate the hell out of you. Always coming in and showing that big old generous dong of yours. Uh, but super appreciated, man. Never never expected, never necessary, but always appreciated. But let's see what he wins, Bob. Around and around the wheel goes where it stops. Only Fuzz knows. I, I did that on purpose, regular guy. I did that on purpose. I'll tell you here in a second. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Oh, just like that shit. Classic Aragni. Classic Aragni. Oh, there you go. Oh, you win some, you lose some, you win some, you lose some. But thank you so much for playing Fuzz's Chance Time. And as always, I'll see you again next time. All right, here we go. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing it at 930 and not at the end of the stream is because if I did it at 10 o'clock, I don't know what's going to happen. I need to give myself a buffer so I can survive. And so that's why, that's why I'm doing it at 9.30. Because I got work in the morning. I got work in the morning. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This ain't like no Friday thing. All right, but here we go. This is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Never played this before. I just made my character. He looks like a total dweeb. Let's get it on. Survive? Yeah, that's like basically as far as I'm going to go. Regular, how the hell are you doing, man? How the hell are you doing? I'm optimistic. Maybe it's not that bad. Yo, Steve, how's it going, buddy? Great seeing you. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great night. Uh, so what I'm going to need, chat, is for the U.S. Uh, geography, not geography necessarily, but the history, definitely going to need your guys' help. All right, here we go. Homebroom. All right, I already made my character, the Baba Goose. Here we go. Whoa, sound. What is happening? Why is it slow motion? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it, my computer's like, what, it can't handle this? What is happening? Welcome to okay. Are you I can't. I can't handle this. Greater I can't a game this like where <laughs> you can win up to one. I can't do it. I can't do it. The one million dollars. Do I can't do it. Hold on. Let me. Let me try this again. Let me try it again. That was really weird. 
Eat the chip now. I can't do it now. I can't do it now. I gotta at least get a game in. Yeah, time to upgrade. I, that's, I got a 2080 Ti. Like, how come my computer's not can handle this? Come on, man. This is a this is an emulator from 20, 2008. <laughs> I can play Elden Ring at, at you know 120 FPS. Dude, I don't know what's happening. There's definitely like a maybe a memory leak somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't keep doing that. That's Hello, gonna be I'm rude. Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Okay, that's good. That's good. Please work. Oh no, it's gonna just do this. All right, whatever. We'll skip it. It's time to meet our first player. That's really annoying. How do we speed this shit up? <laughs> Why does it do this? Right, this is why you should try things. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Maybe it'll, maybe I just skip. Maybe it'll be it's better. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. Is it redneck mode? Yeah, they had to like spell everything out for us. We're so dumb. Uh, there's got to be a way to do this. There's got to be a way to figure this out. I'm kind of bummed that this is doing this. Please pick me. Pick me, Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Over here. Hold on, kids. Hold on. Are you in windowed mode? I am technically, yeah, this isn't full screen. Has anyone ever used PSX before? Has anyone ever used it before? Me! I hear you kids, relax. I'm looking at the settings right now. It's, it's really awful. Hold on. Let's try it. Let's see if we if we boot it in full. Maybe this will be better. It is haunting, and I don't like it. Try it full screen if I can. Uh, I mean, is there a way to even do that on this? Yo, Allie, coming in hot. Thank you so much. Seventeen months. Let's go. Uh, I don't even see a way to dock station for PlayStation emulator. So I'm using PSX because it's the only one that I could get to work with two, PS2. Uh, emulation settings, let's see here. Uh, so for VUs, uh, it doesn't even look like I can change anything. Uh, the speed hacks, not recommended. Game fixes. I have no idea. I've never had a problem with any game before. But yeah, this is why I guess we should try things. Here we go, enable widescreen patches. Is that what we want? Maybe try that, I don't know. See if this works. <laughs> Yo, Scramby coming in hot too. We got two wheel spins just like that. How's it going, Scramby? Just in time. We're having a little bit of problems. We're having some problems with this game right now. Uh, I'm kind of curious, maybe if I like don't use the profile, if it'll work. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, it's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Like, let, what if I try guest? Yeah, it'll be this guy. No, no, it's still happening. It's like super slow motion. Why does it do this? <laughs> And it doesn't stop. It's time to meet our player. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, maybe let's just play a game and see if it fixes itself. Maybe we just gotta like, get into the actual game here. Damn it. All right. Classmate, and let's get started. All right, I got my eye on, uh, Jeremy's looking good in the back there. Let's go Jeremy. It's Let's see the list of 
subject. Okay, this isn't good. For this game. This isn't good. Okay. Astronomy. God, why is it doing this? Earth science. <laughs> why is it doing this? U.S. history. <laughs> so Stop so it, study. Jeff. You're so creepy. <laughs> Reading. Measurements. Uh, I have no idea how to fix this. Art. Art. Animal science. Oh, we're gonna kill animal science, well, by the way. English. All right, let's find let's... out. Let's. Do you know what this reminds me of, Are guys? Remember? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Do it's you get subject? Shut up, Jeff. I'm talking. <laughs> Do you guys remember in in Coraline when Mr. Bubinski, the the guy that like does the circus? <laughs> and 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 he's like about to turn into like a, a rat or whatever. That's what he sounds like. That's what. Anyway, let's do first grade astronomy. Okay, for one thousand dollars, here's the question. All right, true or false? Earth revolves around the sun. I'm gonna say that's true, Chet. I'm gonna say that's true. You can put cheats on. Why would I cheat? I'm gonna lock in my answer. Here we go. Locking in. Locking in. Don't rush anything. There you go. All right, Jeremy, are we locked in together? How much money are we gonna get, Bob? got one thousand dollars one thousand pick your next subject okay well this isn't as great as i as i was hoping but uh let's just keep going up the ladder let's go first grade earth science okay the two thousand dollar question is Okay, so this is now where I have to like bring my Animal Crossing into this. Summer begins in what month in uh, in the Southern Hemisphere? I'm gonna say November, chat. I'm gonna say November. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure it's November. July. Classmate is locked in already. All right, he's already locked in. Jeremy's too fast for us. I think it's November. I'm locking in, Bob. I'm going to lock in my answer. You are now locked in. I'm trying to see if I can uh, fix this sound because it's really bothering me. Sorry, but that is this not wrong. The right answer. What is it? December? Oh. Shit! Are you kidding me right now? Wow, I was sure about that one too. I can't believe we got that wrong! It's December? Oh shit! I didn't know that! Let's see if your partner knows oh, what- Jeremy might be able to is. save us. He might be able to save us. And the fifth graders have done it again! Did they save us? Nice. You've got two thousand dollars. I'm trying to fix this, by the way, Chad. I really am. I'm trying to fix. He saved us. We gotta keep playing. That's amazing. Your classmate. But it's really awful. You out. It's really awful. I don't know how to fix this. Anyone? Anyone familiar with PSX at all? Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. He just said like he's absolutely hammered. Uh, let's go PSX uh, to uh, very uh, slow motion. Let's see if we can fix this. Here we go. Slow motion fix. Here we go. I'm going to fix this chat. Hold on. I'm going to fix it. Try to play several games. Here we go. Uh... I'm gonna fix the chat. Yeah, I stole a calendar picture. It's, I do what I do. I do what I do. Don't at me. 
All right, here we go. It says speed hack level six, turning the speed hack preset down to two. Okay, hold on. How do I get there? Hold on. All right, I got to find this thing. Uh, Where would that even be? Just, just bear with me, chat. Bear with me. Uh... Speed hack level six turn down will turn VU down. All right, does that be under emulation setting? All right, there's VUs, but I'm not okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Enabling MTVU. Okay, so that's that's at two. All right, now we have mostly harmful. What the hell am I even looking at here? Presets applied to some speed hacks that may boost. All right, uncheck the preset box. Here we go. Let's apply it. Let's see if that works. Your can only help nope, you that didn't help. That made it worse. Time. Pick another classmate. That didn't help. Pick me. Pick me. All right. Enabling multi-threaded micro VU1. Uh, where would that be? I mean, there's this. Uh... Manually adjusting the EE cycle rate downwards. Me, me, me. I don't know what that is either. Wait, oh here oh here we go. I found it. I found it. Catch a hitmon chan while we wait, chat. Pick me. Oh, did I spell that wrong? Alright, we're having some technical difficulty here, chat. Oh here we go, here we go. Me. Or enable weight loot detection, enable this. Let's get rid of all this shit. I don't know. Let's speed it up a little bit. Please, pick me. Pick me. There we go. That looks normal. Ah. All right, let's go, Alicia. I'm going to pick Alicia. I fixed it. I fixed it, chat. Let's go. I did it! I'm amazing! <laughs> Pick another subject. All right, here we go. All right, let's just keep going. All right, Chad, that's what I need you guys the most now. Second grade history. Big brain, there you go. Thank you guys for sticking up with me for that. $5,000. Here is the question. True or false? The actual name of the covered wagons used by a pioneer very quickly. was the Conestaga wagon. All right, anyone familiar with the Conestaga wagon? I'm not familiar with that one. Do we cheat here? Or can, can't, can chat bail me out? It's true? All right, okay. I'll lock it in. Locking in. I also didn't know how to name it. locked in. Are you feeling confident with your answer? No, Did but it's retro. It? Because you are right. Let's go, baby! Let's go! You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Hell yeah. It was uh, among the Pennsylvania Dutch. Look at that. We're learning, chat. Pick another subject. All right. Second grade social studies. Retro, big, big brain for you right now. Okay. The $10,000 question is... True or false, made is a latka is a shawl worn by girls in India. Is a latka not food? Is that not a Polish, um, like pastry? A latka? Because the, the, the shawl worn in India, is that not a, like, what is it, a burka? Latka is a food, right? That's what I thought. Latka is a food. I'm going to say false, chat. Just answer it. Shut up! <laughs> She's giving me dude. I'm going to lock in my answer. 
You are now locked in. You got ten. You love Latkes? What is it? What is is it my right? Is it a is it a Danish? Or like a, some kind of pastry? Actually, dude, I wanted to ask you and Scott, if, if, or Scramby and Scott, or anyone from Texas. Um, now I can't remember what the hell they're called, but in Texas, there's, um, oh my God, they're like breakfast hot dogs. What are they called? Oh, it's a potato pancake. That's what it is. What are they called? Uh, you can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another class. Kolaches, that's it. Do you like those? Do you eat those? All right, let's go, George. Because Alicia's a little bitch. It's you and me, George. Yes. They're pretty good. The lineup for the drive-thru was insane. Up here it was so you. far down the street. Subject. All right, let's do reading. I think I'm, I could do reading. Third grade reading, I'm in it. Okay. This is one of the biggest questions on the board because regardless what happens the rest of the game, the least you can win is $25,000. Okay, I can get behind that. Brisket filled kolaches are good, I could imagine. Brisket anything is good. All right. Puck Everlasting and Peter Pan are examples of what literary genre? Folklore, fantasy, historical fiction, or adventure fiction? I also was thinking that, Steve. No, I know this one. I was thinking fantasy, personally. Now, I don't know what Tuck Everlasting is. Uh... Now, we haven't used a kid yet. Let's cheat. I just want to see what this does. Uh, I would like to peek at their answer. I think I'll peek. Let's take a peek. It's fantasy. What do you think? Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. Fantasy, okay. Now's I'll... the time to lock in your answer. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. Locking in. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You've got $25,000. Let's go, baby. Woohoo! Woo Good one, chat. Good one. So it tells the story of a family who discovered a spring of eternal youth, and Peter Pan tells the story of a boy who never grew up. I like how they give you the, some backstory to your answer. That's nice. Which subject do you want? All right, I think we could do third grade measurement. I feel pretty confident. I know my inches. Actually, if they go Imperial on me, I'm screwed. Okay, no matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. You've read it in, t in sixth grade. All right. The time it takes the moon George has locked in his George, response. I'm reading the question, buddy. The time it takes the moon to orbit the Earth is 28 days around. Uh, how many times will it do this over the course of a year? So 365 divided by 30 would be 10. It's either 12 or 13. All right. Uh, Steve is saying 13. All right, 13. Let's go 13. Locking it in, baby. I'm going to lock in my answer. You are now locked in. Let's You're see how well we do it. $50,000. You looked a little uncertain about that one, but okay. you got the right answer. Excellent. Excellent, yeah. Great job. All right, some ancient calendars actually use this lunar cycle to have 13 months during the year. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. Okay. All right, Juliet, you've been waiting patiently. Come on down. I'm gonna go with Juliet. Hey, why are you doing it again? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me.
Which subject do you want? All right, here we go. Okay, art, I'm not very good at. The chat, I'm gonna need you to come out in full force here. All right, fourth grade art, let's go. Okay. You're the kids are freaky. Yeah, dude, they're very freaky. Dollars. And they're even creepier when they're in slow motion. All right, which of the following is not a common medium for Aboriginal art? Juliet has locked in her answer. Okay, so weaving, definitely. Yo, Squick, how's it going, buddy? Good seeing ya. Uh, body paint, rock, like cave paintings, maybe. Now, hear me out, chat. Now, I know you're saying canvas. Does canvas count as, like, animal skins, though? Like, would canvas count as, like, you know, when they, like, paint on their, like, teepees or whatever? Would that count as a canvas? Also, Squick, sorry I couldn't make it your thing last, uh, last week. I ended up having to work late. How did it go? Weaving for sure is there. Body paint for sure is there. I'm torn between rock and, and Don't canvas. Forget, you can still copy your classmate's answer. It was cute. Defsco canvas. It's a weekly thing. Okay, well, maybe one of these days I can come down there. Locking in. Let's try canvas. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Oh, let's go, baby. Yes. Let's go. We can't be stopped. We can't be stopped now. We're in a groove. We're in a groove now. Fifth grader. You took an art class. You're an expert. Well, that's fantastic. All right, according to the artist, subjects of the paintings are linked to the uh, Dreamtime stories of the Aboriginal people. It's the Baba Goose. It's the Baba Goose, baby! Which All subject right. do you want? Okay, fourth grade animal science, I feel very confident about. So let's do it. Okay, you're playing for $175,000. Uh, it means um, terrible lizard chat is what dinosaur means, actually. I'm locking it in, baby. Juliet has locking in. Of course they give me a dinosaur question. Do you know who I am? I'm the fuzz, man. There I love go. dinosaurs. You're, You're going for $175,000. That is correct. Of course it is, Jeff. Of course it is. You dare question me? Excellent work. Yes, Richard Owen in 1840. There you go. You're down to your last classmate. I thought I was yeah. kidding. Dude, oh, I'm ready, baby. I already got my, I'm gonna get my tickets booked and everything. No, I, I love dinosaurs. I'm, I'm like dead serious about that. You I go to the, classmate. I go to the dinosaur museum all the time. Subject. Google the, the Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta. I go there a lot. You never knew that. I, Jurassic Park is my favorite movie. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Fifth grade health, chat, fifth grade health. Okay, the $300,000 question is... All right, what is another word for the muscular pendant? answer very quickly. Dude, if you go, Aragni, I'll meet you down there, buddy. I'm dead serious. Okay, so cartilage we know is not that. Cartilage is like what's in your nose. A joint is not a tendon. Tendon is like a muscle, right? So I'm thinking it's either... I think, it, I think it's sinew. The drum heller, the drum heller alley. And I don't know what an ulna is, but sinew sounds familiar. Anyone here like in, in medical sports? Board sinew, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Risk it for the brisket, man. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Ulna is a nerve? Is a tendon a nerve? There you go, you're locked in. You're you learned during social studies. What's it have to do with health plans? It's been so long, I can't even remember what the question was, but that looks like the right answer. Yes! Good job, chat. Good job. I'm proud of you. Proud of you guys. Standing. So without tendons, your limbs would pretty much just flop around. Hey, the Glenville Museum is going to be free from now on. So there's another place you could hang out. Although you're going to Edmonton probably, right? All right, here we go. Fifth grade okay. English. This next question is worth half a million. Oh, the sinew of buffalo. Okay, okay. 
All right, who wrote the novel Robinson Crusoe? So, this is locked in his response. So the only thing I know about Robinson Crusoe is they used that in the Gilligan's Island theme. Like Robinson Crusoe, it's primitive as can be. You think it's Washington Irving? Well, we do have a lifeline. So we could cheat. How confident are you? So Robert Frost is the only one that I know. And I don't, he's like a poet, I think. All right, Retro saying it's, it's Daniel Defoe. I'm gonna need some consensus here. You're doing good, keep going. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right. You're not confident. All right, I'm gonna go with Retro here on this one. This might cost us a million bucks though. Let's find out. I'm locking it in. Locking in. Daniel Defoe. I was kind of hoping to save the cheat for the last question. Locked in. You're for the million dollar question. Hundred thousand dollars. You've earned half a million dollars. Half a million bucks. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? I'm pretty sure, Bob. You realize what time it is now, don't you? I sure do. It's time for the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. Let's go. I'm gonna tell you the subject of the million dollar question and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you wanna to try to answer it or not. Let's see what the subject of the million dollar question is. And there it is, the million dollar subject. I mean, now, we might as well call. go. Either go for the million or drop out and walk, walk away. Walk away? Come on, Steve, you're like a music genius. You, for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. We gotta risk it, we gotta keep, keep going. Owen, right? With twenty-five thousand. What kind of attitude is that, Steve? Get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going? Walk to away? Jess wants to walk away too? Are you crazy? We gotta go for it, right? Come on, you don't get anywhere in life if you walk away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Baba Goose. That's right, it's the Baba Goose. We don't get out of bed for anything less than a hundred thousand. Exactly. Rachel was a music ed major for a semester. Go for it. Rachel, Captain Clutch herself is here, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta go for it. I gotta push. Million, baby. It doesn't get any bigger than this question. You are playing for one million dollars. What musical instrument has a long slide that changes the notes? Trombone. There is big money on the line here. Oh boy. Right? Trombone? Uh, I don't know how to spell it, right? Uh, please tell me I spelled this right. Trombone, right? Here we go. Trombone, is that right? We almost walked away. I know. A million dollar question about a trombone. I'm locking it in. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. I mean, twenty-five thousand dollars ain't no chump change either, though. Twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> You've won one. Let's go, dollars. baby. Let's go. Yeah. I won. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What an incredible job you did here. I just don't believe it. Let's but go, legends. You've won a million dollars. Well, I mean, technically, it is baby questions. Than a fifth grader. It's fifth grader questions, so let's do it again. Thank Hell yeah. We're gonna, to we are going to break records. On, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Bye bye, everybody. I just want to see if I can. All right, here we go. Yo, Gad, how's it going, buddy? Good seeing you, dude. 
Um, Are we at an A minus? Which I think we should have did better than that personally, but. Jeff Foxworthy and welcome to our. No array to enjoy your graveler. All we ask is you do responsibly. All right, let's see if the Baba Goose could do it this time. Okay. Oh, it's like slow motion speed up. <laughs> yeah, I miss you too, buddy. How you doing, dude? We are happy. How's working everything been today? Let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Let's meet your classmates. We've got Alicia. Alicia. Lewis. George. George. Juliet. Juliet. And Jeremy. Jeremy. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, oh, yeah, we got to do wheel spins. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player. So we'll we'll do that right after we get off here. But uh, you win some RGTRP. Are you a cop or are you a I'm criminal? Excited to be here. All right, let me tell you right. how we played this. Pause here. Game. Hold on. Pause, pause, pause. All, All right, here we go. All right, we have to do some wheel spins. So who was first? I think Allie was first. Then we'll do Scramby. So Allie, if you're still here, come on down. You're the next contestant of Fuzz's Chance Time. Welcome, everybody, to Fuzz's Chance Time, your one-stop shop to win fabulous prizes. For every sub, resub, gifted sub, or 10,000 Fuzz coins, you, too, can press your luck and spin the wheel. Such prizes include VIP, Jelly Bean Redeemed, and much, much more. Let's see what she wins, Bob. All right, here we go. Thank you so much for, like, the 17 months. Crazy. Here we go. Big bucks, no whammies. Come on. Big bucks, no whammies. What is she going to get? Oh, she gets a custom sound effect. That's a great prize, Allie. That's a great prize. We'll discuss it after stream. Congratulations. Let's hear it for Allie. GG, GG. All right, Scramby coming in hot now. Let's see if she can get a better prize. That VIP is on the line. Here we go. Big bucks, no whammies. Round around the wheel goes where it stops. Only Fuzz knows. Come on, come on. What's she gonna get? Oh, I thought she was gonna get VIP there. Oh, she wins my OnlyFans chat. The hottest, spiciest, and steamiest place on the internet. Ooh, congratulations. What a prize. Thank you guys so much for playing Fuzz's Chance Time. And as always, I'll see you again next time. Oh, she's excited. You can tell. She's excited. You're going to see 10 subjects. Hey, where's my window? From the there? first grade through the fifth grade. Through the fifth grade. Answer them grade. in any order you like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. If you get the... I did. I took away everybody's VIP, except I kept Allie's VIP because she was... And we'll she was getting all aggressive. Oh, I kept Jess's too. That will be worth I did. $1 million. But again, for 100,000 like Fuzz Coins, you can win permanent can VIP that you. never so expires. You, stump, you can cheat off of them in a couple of different ways. It's a big deal. First, you can peek at their answer. You can choose to go with it or go with your own. It's up to you. Or you can well, I promise you, Jess, that I would keep your VIP because you bought a Switch. Go with whatever they guess. It's a huge Finally, deal. You have a save huge deal. Which kicks in automatically if you guess wrong, but your classmate is right. You can only use each cheat once, and when they're gone, you won't be able to get any help from your classmate. So true, so true. Game, so use them wisely. Okay, here we go, chat. Drop out of school at any time and take whatever money you've earned. But before you can walk away with a loot, you have to tell the whole world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Is it a deal? That would be good. That would be good. Then so not only do we have carding to do, now we'll have uh, uh, we sports you, or not we sports. I guess we switch sports. So any of these kids ought to do fine. Me. All right, let's go with my boy George. George. I'm ooh, 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 George. And we also have Mario Party to play as well. That's been really fun. Especially fun when you have beans on the line. Here Scramby the loves the beans. For today's game. World geography. Reading. Measurements. Astronomy. Art. All the US games. geography. Math. Have you eaten any more beans? Has Scott tried a Social bean yet? studies. US so many beans. options. So many right, options. Let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Dude, life. Do, we, do I have you on as my friend on Switch? Add me, buddy. 
Let's play some Mario Kart, man. Here you go. I also have Mario Party. I might get golf one day. We never know. We never know. All right, so Rachel, I'm calling you out here because you're the one that helped us uh, get that trombone question. You're the one that pushed us over the edge. Do we continue with our strategy and go first grade all the way up to the fifth grade, or do we go crazy and start going fifth grade down to the first grade? What are you guys feeling? No one plays golf anymore. You play with yourself. You know what? That's understandable, though, because they just, like, stopped, like, supporting that game. There was, like, one update, and that was the show. Kind of disappointing. That's why I didn't buy that game. You want to go down five to one? All right, regular guy wants to go five to one. Does Rachel agree? Because we could knock out history and social studies. You never know. It could. It definitely could. Five to one is cool. All right, let's do it. We're going with this. Could knock us out first round. Let's go. Fifth grade social studies. Start at three. We can do that next round if we have time. Keep it by chat. 50 okay. minutes. The 1, we got the one chip challenge. The one chip challenge. All right. The Anz and An An Anasazi built their homes out of what materials? The Anasazi. Was it stripped leaves, taped logs, stone and adobe, or animal skins? So Anasazi to me sounds like sure not a native know. band though. What was the category? Was it US geography or social studies? Use the copy. All right, we're copying. We're cheating right out of the get go here. Let's see how smart George is. Yeah. Come on, George. Okay, there it is. Your answer's All right, George it. is saying it's leaves. That was the one I didn't think it was. This is for $1,000, by the way. That's not the right answer. Oh. oh, man. That's just incredible. There's the answer you gave. Tell us the correct one, please. Oh, it was stone and adobe! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit! Raggedy was right! All right, so the usual mix was sand, clay, and some sort of organic material like straw. All right, remember, Chad, if you're ever in a situation where you're talking about the Anasazi, they had adobe houses. That's all for zero, partner. Wow, zero dollars. I just flunked out. All right, the Bob who suck. Before you go, I need you to tell the entire- Oh, the, the, the disrespect. Than a fifth grader. The disrespect. Just proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Use peak Bye, next everybody. time. We'll see you again next time. That one hurts. That one hurts. I am definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. I even made eye contact with you guys. Oh my God. That's going to be on our report card, Chad. I'm skipping this. Right, I know how to play. It's time to decide. All right. George is a buster. I'm not picking George again anymore. I'm going with Alicia. I'm going to pick Alicia. All right, Alicia. Help, help a brother out. Cool. Oh, a vile plume. Let's go. That's huge. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. U.S. Geography, Earth Science, Grammar, Art, Animal Science, Astronomy, Reading, Cultural Studies, World Geography, Measurement. Okay. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter right. than a fifth grader? Let's start fifth off subject. with grade three animal science. <laughs> Okay, you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. True or false, insects have three body parts and six legs. So they have a head, a an abdomen, and a thorax, right? So I'm going to say it's true. I'm going to say it's true. I'm going to 
lock in my answer. Who just got that? There Life? Go. Oh They're my god, in. enjoy your vile blue, man. All we ask is to use it responsibly. That is correct. Excellent. Which subject do you want? Okay, let's keep going with third grade. Let's go astronomy. I could, I know a little bit about stars. Okay. The well, planets, I guess. You're kind of a nerd. Ouch. Is... True or false? No matter where you go on Earth, you can see the same constellations. Quickly. That's false. That's false, Pop. Excellent. <laughs> Locking in. For example, Australia. All right, your answer's locked in. That's true. You that better not be true. In school because that's the right answer. Yes. I know it wasn't true. Because in Australia, they got different constellations. Yo, McCool Man, how's it going, my friend? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great night, buddy. Are you a fan of Are You Smarter Than the Fifth Grader? Because we can use all the help we can get. Your classmates can only help you two questions. All right, so time, Alicia so was useless. Another classmate. Uh, let's go Jeremy. Jeremy's good. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Cool. Cool. Pick your next subject. I hear the science. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Uh, what, what do you want to do for a category, chat? We're going to go just out of order now. What are you guys feeling? Uh, I mean, earth science would probably be easy. Fifth grade measurements, probably easy. Geography, maybe. We do a lot of geo guessers, so possibly. Cultural studies, I don't know. I'm not very cultured. Geography, all right, I want to do geography. Let's do it. Second grade art, okay, we'll do second grade art after. Okay. The $5,000 question is, Cape Agulhas is the is at the southern tip of what continent? Jeremy has locked in his answer. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Uh, all right. I'm going to say Cape Agulhas sounds South American to me. Uh, I'm gonna say it's either South America or Africa. I don't think... You wanna peek on this one? I could peek. It's Africa? Okay. I mean, McCool Man's saying Africa. How confident are you in that guess? Out of curiosity. Is it in fact Africa? Like, like 80, 20, hundred percent. Okay. This is getting boring. Hey, shut up, kid. <laughs> Locking in. All right. Second, I guess. Let's see. For five You're grand, for five grand. Regular guys second guessing it or seconding the guess. That answer must've been buried deep in that brain of yours, but you finally dug it out. Awesome. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You've got your classmate up here with you. All right, let's do art. Let's do art. You love to see it, chat. You love to see it. Second grade art. Okay. This next question is worth ten thousand dollars. Which of the following emotions do people not associate with warm colors? Excitement. Jeremy has locked in. If I had to guess, response. red is a warm color. Optimism. Comfort. I think of like warm, like cozy things. Excitement, I think of like bright colors. Optimism, I think of blue though, which isn't a warm color. I don't know why. This is second grade? Come on. I should know this. Comfort, you think, is blue? Okay, so comfort's the answer. This is a toughie. Do we go comfort? Oh my God, we're getting conflicting ideas, excitement. What if we peek? What if we peek? Let's just take a little peek-see. 
I'm going to have to peek at my classmates' answer. Okay, it's time to check out your classmates' answer. I'm for it. Okay, okay. If that's I'm... the answer you want to go with, lock it in. I'm going to have to go with my kid. I'm going to have to go with Jeremy. I feel good about this one. I don't feel I'm good about it. Jeff. All right, your answer's locked in. You've got $10,000. Yes. Again, Rachel comes in clutch. Although Steve also had comfort as well. So both of you, thank you. Warm colors are the part of the spectrum that goes from yellow to red. So excitement must be yellow. I thought that was it's happy. It's pick another classmate. Me. All right, let's go with, uh, let's get a girl in here. Let's go Juliet. Juliet, she's been waiting patiently. Let's high five, there you go, nice. Yeah, oh, she's got like uh, flare pants, so you know she's serious. Let's pick a subject. All right, Chad, give me a subject. What are we feeling? I mean, Want to go measurement? All right, let's do measurement. Get it out of the way. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. All right, which of the following is not an SI prefix? Locked in her answer. I believe it's FEMO. Because you have terabyte. Yeah, I'm, micro. I'm going to say it's FEMO. Anyone else disagree? I'm feeling good about it. You would agree with that? All right. If regular guy agrees, then Not I can't you. lose. I can't lose. You are now locked in. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. And just like that, Chad, we have eliminated the two hardest questions on the board. Although that art question was a little bit of a bitch. There is, however, a, fem a femto, which is 10 to the power of 15. Or minus 15, I should say. Pick another subject. All right, here we go. Here we go. Give me another subject, Chad. I think the rest are going to be okay. Maybe we should get rid of some of these fourth grades out of the way. Cultural studies, maybe? That one could be a bugaboo. What are we thinking? Reading, I think we could do. Like, what the hell do kids read in fourth grade? Like, they're not reading Animal Farm. I think we should maybe do cultural study. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. Okay, which of the following creatures did Hercules wrestle to get into Hades' underworld? Cerberus? That's I was thinking either Cerberus or Hydra. And I'm trying to remember the Disney movie, and he fights the Hydra, because that's like the first monster he sees. That wasn't to get into the underworld. So I will go with Ragni and say Cerberus. We'll do geography I feel next. Good about this one. I'm locking in Jeff. Cerberus, okay, you guys are all agreeing. I like that. You are now locked in. You're going for $50,000. I don't know what took you so long, but you did manage to come up with the right answer. We didn't Excellent. even take that long, I thought. I thought we did pretty well. Nicely done. Hercules had to wrestle the three-headed creature all the way into the sunlight before winning. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be okay. in class. Okay, well, hear me out. I don't want to bring George to the final round, so I'm going to go George now. We're going to take Lewis to the million. George. Because George really let us down last round. He's the weakest of the fifth graders. Yes. Which subject do you want? All right, you want a geography? Let's do it. Okay, the $100,000 question is, 
All right, Jenny wanted to travel along the Gulf of Mexico. Which state did she not visit in her travels? Uh, that would be New Mexico. Texas, definitely. Mississippi is there. Louisiana's right beside Texas. I'm going New Mexico. In his answer. Locking in. All right, Steve agrees. I like it. I like it. You are now locked in. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Let's go, baby. Yes. Let's go. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth yeah. grader? I'm positive. I'm 32. All right, New Mexico is on the northwest coast of Texas. Or sorry, oh, northwest of Texas and not on the coast. Pick All right. another subject. Let's just knock the first grade out, just like that. Let's just knock it out. Let's go with our science. All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Could you imagine? Could you imagine uh, in his if the earth was hollow? Quickly. And it's just, it's just ready to break at any time. Your birthday's in four days. Well, happy early birthday, my friend. That's going to be like on, is it on Thursday or Friday? How old are you turning? You are now locked in. You're going. If this is wrong, I'm going to be so upset. $75,000. 25 nice buddy you've got that's awesome well, I, I don't know if i'll see you but if i do Ooh. if i don't see you sorry i should say happy birthday hollow earth is a theory like flat earth to shut up are you sure you're not is that actually a thing flat earth amazes me by the way i love i love that the arguments you get from that people used to believe the world was hollow and wrote some cool science fiction books about what they might find it's true oh my god that's amazing. You're down to. I'm gonna have to YouTube it later. Mate. All right, Lewis, let's go, buddy. Yeah. Let's go, Lewis. We ain't gonna lose. We got Lewis on our team. Pick another subject. Hollow Earthers, dude. It's like so. There's there's flat Earthers, Hollow Earthers, and young Earth creationists. Those are like the, the trifecta now. All right, second grade grammar. Let's do it. All right, here's our question for $300,000. The opposite word to command would probably be obey. Lewis has locked in his answer. I would think, right? Like, command and request are basically the same thing. Enact is to make something happen, and then govern is to control. I'm going to say obey. That's the only one that doesn't make sense. Locking in. You are now locked in. You're going for $300,000. Oh, yeah. Are we going to get it? Are you feeling confident with your answer? Yeah, you I feel should. pretty good. Because you are right. Yeah, awesome. baby. No. What do you mean, no? We're crushing it. Done. The word antonym comes from the Latin phrase that means against. All right, here we go. Fourth grade okay. reading chat. Here we go. The $500,000 question is... Lewis, okay, well, this is pretty answer. damn easy. Very Which of the following is a book by Dr. Seuss? It's the Lorax. It's the Lorax. It's not The Witches, which is a crazy scary movie. The Giving Tree, I don't know. Charlotte's Web is a book about a pig and a spider. That's not a rhyming book. Locking in. It's the Lorax who hates when people cut down his forest. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $500,000. What's you guys' favorite Dr. Seuss book? You've got $500,000. Awesome. Awesome. This subject must be your specialty. All right, let's see what that you final question what is. Time it is now, don't you? You he raps Dr. Seuss books? That's pretty cool. I've never heard of that. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. 
I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question. And right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. Let's see what the subject of the million dollar question is. Is it a YouTube channel? It is. And there it is. Oh, shit, chat. This is my nightmare. Now this is my you nightmare. need to make the call. All right, how confident are you guys you with fifth grade U.S. Out, history? Walk away with 500,000. Is Rachel still here? I feel like she, if anyone would know, she, it might be her. You won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, Do we risk it? You walk away with 25,000. Or do we walk away? Randy wants to go. He wants to do it. And win a million dollars. We can't walk away. Oh my God. We can't walk away. We can't do it. We gotta go. You were a history major? Woo! Woo! I'm nervous. All right, here it is. The one million dollar question. Before the Louisiana purchase, from what country did France received that land. One million dollars is on the line here. Is it Mexico? Take time and think about it very carefully before you decide to lock in your answer. Oh my. Spain? I can't much more of this. Okay, yeah, Spain makes more sense, I guess. Is it Spain or is it Mexico? I, I'm assuming it's Spain. Most of the territory was British, wasn't it? I don't know. But the S is silent, just pain. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's Spain chat. Let's see. This could be totally wrong. We walk away with 25,000 regardless. Let's see. I'm gonna lock in Bob. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. <laughs> <laughs> You've won one Let's go, dollars. Chet! Let's go, baby! Yes. Let's go! Holy shit! I can't believe we did it! I can't believe we did it! Let's go! Good job you did here! Let's go! I can't believe this is happening. We did it! I can't believe that happened! I actually thought it was Mexico! officially smarter than a fifth grade! Take that, you stupid kids! Goodbye, everybody. Take we'll see that. you again next time. Let's go, baby. All right, we got an A. An A, chat. That's better than last time. All right, we have enough time to do one more, I think, unless we get eliminated. And then we have the one chip challenge. There we go. Let's do it. You're excited? I'm actually like so scared. You have no idea. Like I've never even heard of a scorpion pepper before. I don't know what it is. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. We are happy. Let's meet our next player. Okay. Glad to be here, Jeff. All right, I want to start. You how to play the game. Okay, let's see. Animal science good for us. Geography, okay. Questions range from first okay. grade through the fifth. Okay, grade. art in fourth grade is probably going to be hard. First correct answer is worth one thousand dollars. If you get the tenth question I, correct, I am probably not going to be conscious to clip it. So if you guys want clips, that's going to be on you guys. If you do answer all ten questions correctly, we give My you. My regular guy, he's like the clip master. He'll get an it. Additional grade school I have faith. question, and if you get it right. You'll win one I will million it. dollars. 
Remember, if at any point the pressure gets to be too high, you can take the money that you bankrolled up to that point, and you can- The whole thing! Oh, oh shit! Little... What if it's not spicy at all? What if I take it like a champ? Help you. Then you what? Two cheats. You guys are gonna be disappointed. You pick at your classmate's paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it, or you can go with your own. You have one copy, which means you must take the answer that your classmate has. Okay, I don't the idea here is to pick someone to ask you to be your classmate. You want a refund? So, <laughs> these kids ought to do fine. Please. All right, I like Alicia. I'm going with her first. She's been really solid for us. You and me, Alicia. Alicia, sorry. Your first bite has to has to be confident to not a nibble. I'll stick the whole thing in my mouth. I'll Let's put the whole the thing in. Like, I don't know how big game. it is, but if it's just like a tortilla chip, like Animal I'm gonna go for science. it. World geography. Oh God. Health. Measurement. I'm just reading the warning Physical on the back. Science. English. Is there an expiration Read. date on the box? Art. U.S. history. World history. Look at that chip. All right, let's find out. This chip will destroy Are you. you. Smarter <laughs> than a fifth grader. Oh shit. Pick a subject. Uh, expiration date wise, though? Uh, I don't know. You're next. Uh, it doesn't say. Also, it only has 25 calories. So that's good. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see an expiration date, I don't think. So, anyway. We die, we die! All right, here we go. Let's get a category here. Uh, let's go with let's get this art question out of the out of the, the get go here. Rachel said she was an art major. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need this right now. Okay, for one thousand dollars. Or no, she was music. Who was the art one? Who's the art one? The space that a three dimensional object takes up is called what? Alicia locked in. Her uh, I would assume that's volume. Very quickly. If it's three dimensional, then that's meters cubed. I'm gonna go volume. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm going to lock in my hands. All right, your answer's locked in. You got that one right. Right, let's go, baby. Oh, what is that clip? What is that of? Let's pick a subject. Okay, let's do... Uh, you guys got a subject in mind? What can we do? Uh, let's maybe get rid of uh, U.S. history, maybe. You guys want to get rid of that one off the board? That's probably safe, right? Let's try it. Okay, the $2,000 question is... True or false, imperialism means a parent country has state. Your classmate is locked in already. No. Locking in. And we have the 50-50 shot at this. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You've got $2,000. Oh, that was kind of a fluke. Excellent. Let's go. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. All right, George, you're up. I'm going to go with George. Let's pick a subject. Okay, let's go. Anyone got a subject they want to do? Because if not, I'm going to just pick one random. Oh, physics science. Okay, that might be fun. Let's try third grade physics science, actually. Okay, the $5,000 question is... The use of a mirror to see yourself is an example of what process? George locked in his answer very quickly. Uh, I would have to think it's reflection, right? The use of a mirror to see yourself is an example of a reflection. I, w I would agree. God, I hope this is right. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. 
You are now. Was random an option? Are you feeling confident with your answer? You should, because you are right. Yes. Let's go, baby. The light hits a shiny lining in the back of the mirror and then bounces back at you. There you go. Which subject do you want? Which subject do you feel confident with? My best subjects are reading, measurements. All right, George wants reading or measurements. World history. Or world history. All right, that's what I asked. All right, let's do world history for George then. Okay. Okay. The $10,000 question is... How many times has Napoleon Bonaparte been exiled from France? I want to say three or four. George has locked in his response. I think we're going to have to maybe cheat on this one. I'm going to maybe copy George. You want to say three? All right, let's peek at his answer. I think I'll peek. I thought it was three as well. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. Two. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. What if I'm not happy with that answer? Do you think George knows his stuff? He said he was good at world history. Maybe it only was two. I guess we'll go with it. We have, we have no choice. I can't though. I can't pick anything else. You're locked in. You're like stuck at picking his answer. You've got ten thousand dollars. George, he did it. He saved us. He did it. That little bastard did it. He was exiled to Elba, and the second was to St. Helena. I knew about Elba. I didn't know about the second one. We have to say goodbye to this classmate. And but I thought it was three. All right, George, you nailed it. I really appreciate you. I respect the hell out of you, kid. Let's go, Jeremy. I'm going to go with Jeremy. What the fuck, Jeremy? What the hell, man? What is happening? <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> let's pick a subject. All right, let's do, what, what, what do you like, Jeremy? What are you good at? I'd say health. Hmm. All right, Jeremy only All likes right, health. Thanks. Let's do health. All right, let's do health. Okay, you get this next question, right? Gee, he sounds so hammered. True or false, regular exercise helps your lungs become better at taking in more air. I mean, that's probably true. Right? That's probably true. Exercise is good for everything. Except for shin splints. Locking in. All right, your answer's locked in. You got that one right. Hell yeah, we did. Nose regular exercise. All right, the diaphragm is a muscle that helps expand and contract your lungs, and like any muscle, will get stronger with exercise. Good to know. Which subject do you want? Okay, so this guy wasn't good with anything, so we're gonna go first grade geography. You don't do it, dude. I okay. feel ya. This question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. Okay, well, I'm pretty confident it's Europe. Pretty confident. This mate is locked in already. If I get this wrong, I'm gonna be really sad. Locking in. But France can be found on what continent? You are now locked in. You're going for $50,000. I feel good about it. I feel good. You've got $50,000. Excellent. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. I mean, Jeff, it's a first grade question, okay? 
You're, you're selling me short here, buddy. can only help you two questions at a time. So All right. Lewis was great with us man. last time when we got the million dollars. So let's go with Julia. Not that she was bad, but I just feel like I got a thing with Lewis. We got like a, a special bond in a non like yeah. creepy, like kid adult way. <laughs> Let's pick a subject. All right, let's see what her favorite subjects are. So what are your favorite subjects? Well, I think I'm good at measurement. That is helpful information. I know, where does time go? Where does time go, regular guy? Okay. You're playing for $100,000. Okay, if September 1st falls on a Saturday, on what day of the week does October 1st fall on? The date is locked in. I'm assuming on a Tuesday. No, on a Sunday. Maybe? Is it the next, is it the next day? What's exactly 30 days? Anyone know? Is there a riddle, is there a trick to this? I might cheat, honestly. I think it's Sunday. I'm gonna copy though, I think. I think I'm going to copy my classmate's answer. Monday? Oh shit. It's Monday, Tuesday? Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Oh, Juliet, right. you're so good. You saved us. She saved our bacon chat. And we still have a save left, too. With you, pick a subject. All right, let's do fourth grade reading. All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Which of the following is a character in a yeah, book by Dr. Seuss? Get her answer very quickly. Uh, so Babe is a pig, Wilbur's a pig, Dorothy is a woman, Sam is in uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Locking in. They love their Dr. Seuss in this game. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for one hundred. Three pigs. Seven. No, Judy Garland was not a pig. You got that one right. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Outstanding. Green eggs and ham. Who called that one? Won't eat it in a box. Won't eat it with a fox. You're down to your last classmate. All right, Louie. Yeah. She dropped a house on an innocent person and took her shoes. She didn't do it. If that's not What's a pig, I don't know what it is. Want? All right, let's do English. Let's do English. It's my first language, so hopefully I get it right. Okay. The $300,000 question. How many syllables are the word friendship? Ryan ship is now locked. Friendship. In. Ryan, is it three? Fry, fry and ship. Friendship. Friendship. Two. Okay, two. That's a trick question. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. Fry, fry, friendship. 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 <laughs> Compound okay, words. There it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Good thing you guys paid Excellent. attention. All right, last question, and then we're going to a million bucks, baby. Did and you it's even a even read the question. Yeah, Man, friendship. There you go. We got it. Oh my God. Holy shit! A Gengar chat, that's huge! I, I don't even wanna play yet. I wanna see who catches this Gengar. This is very important. Jeff, you're gonna have to just wait a minute. All right, we got four people going for this right now. All right, who's gonna catch Gengar? Stay away from my Gengar. Stay away from my Gengar. Come on, come on, I'm so nervous. I hope I get picked. 
No, you're stuck with Chansey. Chansey for life. Okay, Ragnarok's going for it. One. Two. Oh, he doesn't get it. Okay, Rachel's going for it. Rachel's going for it. Uno. No, okay, no. Who's the third throw? Me, please. Please be me. It's me. Okay, huge. Come on. One. Two. Three. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this game's horseshit. Oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Okay. For half a million dollars, here's the question. True or false, Son brown... of a bitch. <laughs> brown bears can be found in North America. I think that's true. Your classmate is locked in already. I think that's true. Locking in. I hope that's true. I'm pretty sure it's true. Does the grizzly You're count as a brown bear? Oh, locked in. You're going for five hundred thousand dollars. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Let's go, baby. Yes. All right, the million dollar question. Let's see you what the category is. Right answer pretty fast. Are What's you the sure subject? You're not a fifth grader. Positive, Jeff. You realize what time it is now, don't you? Yes. This next question will win you one million dollars and you will prove that you are indeed smarter than a fifth grader. Here's how this deal works. I'm gonna tell you the subject of the million dollar question and right Almost, there, almost. To decide I'm so nervous, dude. My heart is pounding. Not. Let's see what the subject of the I million got anxiety. dollar question is. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help. What are the chances we get trombone again? And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with 25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you gonna do? I mean, we gotta go for it. I'm going for a million. Woo! The million dollar question is, what is the Australian musical instrument created when termites hollow out part of a tree? Well, we're what screwed. What is going through your head right now? Oh, uh, we've lost. Oh I can't take much more of this. A didgeridoo? Are you kidding me? Is that really what it is, a didgeridoo? How do you spell that properly? Is that how you spell that? Yo, Scott's coming in. The digi, how do you spell it? Is that how you spell it? Is it one word or two? No idea on spelling? That's not helpful. <laughs> You're just in time for the, the chip, Scott. D didgeridoo? Oh, I spelled it with a... Uh... Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Oh, there's a D in there. Oh, I almost screwed that up. I almost screwed that up. Good thing I double-checked. Did... All right, thank you guys so much for your help. I appreciate it. Let's win that million dollars. Let's get them nugs. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You're now Dude, locked in. You haven't even prize. you haven't even seen it. I, this is sped up. <laughs> is on the line. I don't know if you're here at the beginning. First of all, congratulations for yeah. getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, I had to do some like millionaire. crazy behind the scenes stuff to get know. this game to work. You <laughs> will lose four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. And walk out of here with $25,000. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, didgeridoo! 
You've won one nil. It's didgeridoo. You guys yeah. did it. Let's go. Hell yeah. The million's ours. Two for two. We won three million bucks tonight. You did here. Let's go. It's amazing. I'm so happy. We're so rich now. That's a lot of chicken nuggies shit. A million dollars. You are officially smarter than a fifth grader. Let's go. All right, Chad. Well, this has been really awesome. Thanks. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic night. Take care. Stay safe. And as always, I'll catch you guys and girls next time. See you, everybody. I'm just kidding. I'm good. I'm a man of my word, Chad. I'm a man of my word. I ain't going nowhere. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, chat. So because we hit a sub goal or a, a monetary goal, uh, we got to do this stupid chip. So anyone that wasn't here earlier, this is the one chip challenge. So let me just read this warning to you. It says warning, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, capacitin, or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. Be about to reach a children after touching the chip. Wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. That means your genitals, chat. Seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. Oh, there is a best before on here. It's best before March 1st, 2022. So it's a little bit expired. That's okay. The spiciness will kill all the bad things, I'm sure. So this was donated to me uh, from my good friend, Jessica. She's also a streamer, actually. Go check her out. Let me give you a little shout out here. This wouldn't be possible without her. Uh, what's your name? There you go. Go give Jessica, go give Jessica a follow. It's probably weak. I can't even open it yet. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. There we go. It's open. Oh my God. All right. Holy shit. So it comes in a little baggie. That's cool. We'll need to have a redo. What do you mean? Oh my God. There's so much stuff in here. So the one chip challenge. So uh, it says you versus the Reaper. So a mere mortal who thinks they have what it takes. The Reaper is one otherworldly demon fueled by the hottest peppers known to man. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you get a fresh one? Oh, God. So it says made with Carol. What to expect? Made with Carolina Reaper and Scorpion Pepper. This straight from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. So round one is the spicy punch. Round two is the scorpion sting. Round three is the vision disruptor. Round four is the gut slash. And round five is roasted. Hey, I have a half an hour to kill, chat. You gotta bear with me here. I also get a sweet poster. So it says, face the reaper, any last words? Rules of the challenge. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Post your reactions on social media. Guys, yeah, the vision disruptor kind of, that makes me a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. And then we also get a poster. We also get a poster. It says, I destroyed the one chip challenge. And uh, so, oh my God, how long can you last for getting owned, eating or drinking? Powerless is five minutes. 10 minutes is powerful. 30 minutes is supercharged. One hour is invincible. They have a gauge. I don't need to see that or not. And then on the back, uh, we have the haunted ghost pepper, the fiery chili, the jalapeno tropical, the zesty salsa, or the mucho nacho. Ugh. All right, well, let's just get this over with. Oh 
I'm opening it. I wish I could actually just like swap this with a Dorito. Doesn't smell so bad. I know, I'm a sellout. Uh, I can't open it, chat. There we go. Stream's over. I can't open it. Don't touch your face. I know, I made that mistake before. I need like scissors. This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Rub your eyes now. I can't even open it. I don't want to break it though. That's the problem. Wow, just touching the bag, my tongue kind of sizzles a little bit. That's not good. That makes me nervous. Yeah, could you? I can't open the bag. <laughs> Oh, I think I got it, maybe. Oh, I got it. Never mind, I got it. Oh, I broke it, though. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need a bag or scissors, I mean. How much for you to snort it? A thousand bucks. So. Okay. So it smells like the stupid cayenne pepper jelly bean. Okay, so. I don't know if mine's actually broken or if they gave me two. I hope that it's just broken. I don't want to eat two. But that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. It's huge. Okay, here it is. This is the one chip challenge, and then here's the part that broke. I'm trying to open the bag. So now you guys can see I have a complete chip. It's complete. So you guys can't say that I bailed. Oh, fuck. All right, here we go, chat. In three, two, one. Eat the damn chip. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. We're from here. Okay. That's my face. I mean, it's hot. I ate it. <laughs> okay, there's the heat now. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely not as bad as the toe of Satan. Why do I do this? I do it for you, the people. It definitely hurts, though. <coughs> it's hot. It's hot. Anyone start a timer by the chance? I don't know when we started. Kind of losing feeling in my tip my face a little bit. My eyes are starting to water. That, that's a thing. They've got tear action. Oh, uh, you see it? There's tears. I'm really like sitting on my hands right now, so I don't touch anything. Okay, it's hot, man. But not as bad as the toe of Satan. Okay. We got some of tears. I really want to rub my face. But it hurts. I'm not gonna do it. I 
I think I just want to do the five minutes. <laughs> I don't think it's worth five subs to go blind. All right, I got to make six. I got to make sniffles now. It's definitely getting worse. It's definitely getting worse as time goes on. I think we're in like phase. I mean, I can still see. This might be the scorpion sting. This might be the scorpion sting. So for the vision disruptor has not happened yet. So that's good. Three minutes in, okay, great. Three is good. We might be coming into the gut slash phase here because uh, we might skip the vision disruptor altogether because now it just hurts the insides. Sucks. So I just want to say that whoever invented the scorpion pepper, fuck you. No, this is gonna suck coming up. Future Dave is gonna have a terrible time. Uh, I'll take milk in like five minutes. We got we got more tears coming. Where's the sheep? Can you see it anymore? Really can you see it anymore? He needs some milk. <laughs> wow, this is hot, man. Wow. Woo! We're doing it, though, Chad. We're doing it. It's okay, it's okay. My lips hurt a lot. Kinda got the big drools going. Do do some light reading. Do a bead redeem? I mean, now would be a good time to do a bean redeem because I wouldn't be able to taste it. But let's not do a bean redeem right now. I don't want to go to the hospital. It really hurts. Oh, I gotta catch this tentacruel though. I gotta catch this tentacruel. Oh my god, he's gifted a sub. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. We're at five minutes? All right, Chad, is five minutes good enough? I got milk on standby. I bought this milk specifically for tonight. Or do we gotta keep going? I still got 15 minutes of stream left. Do we just wait? What do we do? Do we go to, do we try to be at least powerful? See how long I can last? Okay, I'll keep going. I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll do a fuzz and chance time for Ragni. Wait it out, okay, you guys are crazy. All right, Ragni, come on down. Look at this, I gotta make me cry a lot. Cause it's, it's a fuzz and chance time. Welcome everybody to the Pleasant Chance Time, your one-stop shop and bound us prizes for every sub, resub, get that sub or 10,000 bonus coins. You too can win bound us prizes. Those prizes include VIP, Jelly Bean, Redeems, and much, much more. Let's see what he wins, Bob. Here we go! Round and round the wheel goes, where it stops. Only Fuzz knows. I'm not touching anything. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. He wins the custom sound effect check, congratulations. What a prize, what a prize. I'm not gonna pet him, don't worry. I got the snot rockets. There we go, congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks for playing for this chance, I'm gonna see you again next time. I don't know where my webcam is. Here we go, I got lips burning. Thanks for the winner. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How are you guys doing tonight? 
What's new and exciting in the world of Twitch chat? Don't look at the snot. Don't look at the snot. Oh boy. Oh! That's hot! Oh! Holy titties. Alright, Jessica, when are you gonna do one of these on your stream? I think it's only fair. Seven minutes in, let's go. Seven minutes, baby. Thank you for keeping time, by the way. I really appreciate you. Never in your light? You have to. You have to. It's it's your it's your duty now. Hot sauce? It's fine. This isn't that bad. This is totally fine. It's getting better. It's totally fine. And it's gonna go great with this 2% milk. I'm not crying, you're crying. Maybe you'll drink a ranch soda? That's your limit? Ranch soda's probably worse than this, honestly. You shouldn't have given me the beans. If I knew you were streaming, I would have let you give me the beans. Look how, look how my lips, how plump they are. Look how, like, it's like I used that snake venom. It's the scorpion sting, chat. They're not plump. They look pretty plump to me. Oh, I don't even want to drink that. What if it spills? That would be so gross. But we can mix it with the buffalo hot sauce. Was hallucination a side effect? Yeah, I don't know where I am right now. I really want to rub my eyes because they're like watering something fierce right now, but I can't do it. I can't do it. It's the vision disruptor. That's this is what they meant. Yeah, they come down, rub my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna have a terrible Harper and I can already feel it. There's the severe pain in the, in the, the esophageal area. But the heat is definitely dying down a little bit, but my eyes are watering even more. But it's doable. Why do I wash my hands? Because if I leave camera, Cat's gonna somehow turn this on me and be like, hey, he cheated. This way it's the uncut, unedited version. But we have hit the 10 minute mark now. What was the next, what was the next thing? I don't want to go an hour. That'll kill me. I don't want to go 30 either. So we're at the powerful point now. How will I cheat? I don't know. I'll eat and drink milk. I can't do it. I can't do it for you, the people. You guys paid for this. You guys paid for this. I can't, I can't disappoint. Somewhere out there, see how many all dropped over a hundred bucks. So I have to give you guys your money's worth. But I think we did it. Like, honestly, it's really not that bad now. Milk with a fork and knife. Like I said, I've definitely got the sniffles, but the heat is definitely tolerable now. I don't feel like I'm gonna die. So that's positive. I can't breathe out of my, <coughs> my nose though. And every now and then I get a little powder, a little powder snoot. You hear that chat for 500 bucks? Allie will play Elden Ring on stream. On cam, Allie, will you do it on camera? You have to do it on cam for 500 bucks. What? Because we love you, Allie. And you just said you'd do it. You can't, no take backsies. The Elven Ring, she was so close. Holy shit, this is a hot chip. Oh. It's real peppers, real heat. 
Sally cheats at The Sims, though. She uses the Rosebud cheat. What's the legacy challenge? All right, so let me just read you some of the other. Oh, mother load. That's right. <laughs> so the haunted ghost pepper chip is freaking hot, made with real ghost peppers and hurts so good. The fiery chili is the super hot, made with real chilies. It fuels your fire. Jalapenos hot, made with real jalapenos. Sweet heat, not sugar coated. Zesty is kind of hot, made with real jalapenos. It's got a kick. And Mucho Nacho is not hot, made with real cheese. It's cheesy as hell. No, you gotta drop it into my PayPal and I'll make sure you get it. Oh. All right, Chad, I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. I have a, I have a PayPal. You guys can draw. I'll make sure Ali gets it. She's saying that. Yeah, payment plan, there you go. Everyone wants to see Ali play Elden Ring. All you have to do is beat the Tree Sentinel, and then you're good. You never have to play again. Come on, I think that's totally fair. 500 bucks, you beat the Tree Sentinel, let's go. Fourteen minutes, let's go, let's go. All right, I think we survived the worst of it, Chad, honestly. I think we're absolutely crushing this right now. Other than like my face hurts, I think we're doing okay. I think we're surviving. I think that again, nowhere near as bad as the as the Koa Satan. But like I'm starting to get like my nose back. Oh my god, a thousand bucks for phasmophobia? You have to play it alone in the dark. I will donate a thousand bucks for that. No, I think, I think maybe we got a defective chip, <clears throat> which I'm okay with. I'm okay with. But you guys can't say that I didn't do it. You guys can't say I didn't do it. Does it really matter though, being one month expired? Does that make a big difference with the heat? Yeah, last time literally almost killed me. Oh, shit. I almost put that up my nose for a second there to scratch my nose. That could have been really bad. Wow, oh, that was a good catch, Dave. That was a good catch. And it hurts my face now. Ow. Like, honestly, five subs to pick my nose? I don't really want to do that. <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest with you, that sounds terrible. <laughs> All right, at 5.55, I'm drinking the milk, and then I'm gonna raid somebody out, and I'm gonna go to go wash my hands, is what we're gonna do. So in two minutes, in two minutes, I'm gonna drink my milk. One minute, in one minute, I'm drinking my milk. 500 be 400 USD? Oh my God, I keep touching my face. Uh, I don't know what it would be in conversion. Also, I'm totally kidding. Dude, don't actually send me money. We could do that. <laughs> don't spend money, man. It's a lot of money. It's money that Allie won't even... She'll bail, too. She'll take your money and then not play Elden Ring. <coughs> She'll be like, oh, not tonight. I have a headache. Facts, see, even Jess agrees with me. All right, Chad, I think it's fair, fair to say I destroyed the one chip challenge. Fuck a dick. I did it. Let's go. You can't, you can't touch me. I did it. I did it, chat. I don't even need to drink this milk, but I'm not going to waste it. Look at that, baby. Ladies the Baba and Goose. It's the Baba Goose. We did it, chat. I don't really want you guys to watch me drink this milk on stream, so I'm going to do it. But, like, don't look. look. Look away. 
I don't even really like milk. Wow. Thank you for the wow. I appreciate you. I'm gonna actually drink my milk, so I'm not. I don't want you guys to watch. It's weird. It's weird. Refreshing. Is gagging still a sound effect? It sure is. Exclamation egg. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> oh. All right, chat. Well, that was the one chip challenge, and I think we nailed that. And then we also oh. played. <laughs> Thank you for the egg. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, that was um, an interesting stream. We did a new game of uh, Who Wants to Be No? Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Thank you for the fart. I appreciate the hell out of you. And then we did the chip challenge. So there you go. So uh, let's end it here. So big, big shout out to everyone who did tonight. I know you guys have lots of options when it comes to entertainment needs. Thank you so much for spending your Monday night here at the Fuzz Factory. Um, I will be back on Wednesday. <clears throat> I don't know what we'll play yet, uh, but let me know. Uh, what you guys want to do um you can tell me in the discord if you want great place to hang out uh totally free totally optional um but yeah really do appreciate all you guys and the ragney thank you so much for the gifted subs and everything i uh, really appreciate it uh discord's gonna be hilarious tomorrow i don't know i don't want to talk about it <laughs> i i'm not gonna document my toilet adventures but i'll let you guys know how how it goes but uh I really do appreciate you guys hanging out so much. Uh, hope you guys had fun. Um, and if I don't see you guys for the rest of the week, hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week. Take care, stay safe, and as always, I'll catch you guys and girls next time. Uh, I need to raid somebody. Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go raid. Uh, let's go raid uh, low tier Steve. He was here earlier. I don't know what he's playing, but let's go show him some love. Drop a follow, and as always, tell him fuss that yeah. Anyways. Take care, stay safe, and as always, I'll catch you guys and girls next time. See you, everybody.